Uh, let me use this uh, platform, national platform, to say if uh, Monday's protest is going to be peaceful, uh, let whoever wants to continue with that continue. Uh, secondly, I think we could be playing with the intelligence of Kenyans. Why am I saying so? The budget that is being used currently by the current government was done by previous government. Uh, these two good senators here, a very experienced one, and, uh, uh, and uh, Edwin Sifuna, and I'm sorry, he seems not to believe in, uh, in prayers. The, I'm sorry about that. He is even questioning the wisdom of even going to church on a Monday. He doesn't realize, uh, <laughs> as a Catholic, there is mass in the morning, at lunchtime, and even in the evening. It's very unfortunate for him to have made that statement. Uh, tell me, the, today, as we sit here, uh, we know Kenyan protests, how they have been. None, when you hear they are peaceful, as leaders here at this uh, platform, we appeal uh, for those uh, protests to be peace, uh, peaceful. But we know eventually what happens. And we have history, what has been happening, including the days of agitation of change of Section 2A. How many Kenyans died? How many people today enjoying those rights followed those families to know what happened? So in this case, when, uh, when, uh, when I say leaders should discuss, uh, nobody should mistake me to say somebody will discuss about uh, Nuzumukate government or somebody joining government, far from it. In any case, I'm wondering, the people we competed in Machakos, if they start agitating today, we, sh we share that government, uh, what kind of democracy is that? Where is uh, you win, you run the government, I check on you. Where is that principle today? So in this case, what we are saying is, this time round, as much as uh, somebody wants to uh, hold the government to account, it is also very critical that we also be held to account. This business of leading people once a property is burned or uh, the life is lost, people just walk as though it is normal. Things should not continue that way. And there is a reason I'm saying so, uh, uh, Trevor. If any time during elections, we have seen so many, so many uh, economic leaders take a capital flight from this country. Why? They are not sure of the outcome of, of the election, whether there will be peace or there will be these street protests. We are losing as a country. The people who are being brought on Monday are the, mostly the population, the, un the unemployed population who are suffering out there. Some of us are taking advantage of that. Let's be very open here. And that will not create uh, opportunities for those uh, young people who will be moving up and down. In fact, it is going to exacerbate the whole situation. Because from COVID to where we are economically, look at the high debts we have in this country. Is it going to be solved through uh, protests in the streets? It can only be solved through people sitting down. What is the way forward? Because if we continue chasing away investors from this country, if we continue with these street protests, anybody out there who wants to invest in this country will say, Ay, wait a minute, why would I take my billion to a country that is going to burn tomorrow? Okay. In fact, anybody doing that doesn't love the Kenyans, doesn't love this country. You are an enemy of this country. Okay. I'm sorry to say.